baby. Woo! We are here, and the sound effects are loud. Sorry about that. Hope I didn't bust anybody's eardrums out, but glad to have everybody along with you. I apologize. I'm hoping my voice will hold up today. I've had uh, some seasonal allergies going on, but after seeing today's Kopi Cafe episode, I just had to do a stream, had to do a breakdown, had to look at some nuggets. We're going to slow it down. We're going to blow it up. We're going to look for all those little breadcrumbs that we can find. And I'm joined today by a special guest. That's right. You have heard him on the Twitter spaces. You have seen him on the YouTube Cryptorama channel. Everybody, big round of applause for Mr. Freiler in the house. Welcome to the stream, sir. How you doing today? Doing good, man. Thank you. Excellent. You know, we've been trying to get a collab going for quite a while, and I, I had this idea this morning, and I'm going, man, there's so many little things that we can probably break down from this. And uh, I thought it was the perfect opportunity, so I'm, I'm glad. It's a long time in the making. Yeah, man. It's, it's really great to be here. Like you said, we talked about doing something for a while, so yeah, and what a great day. I mean, uh, did not expect the Kofi Cafe 50 to drop today, and I didn't expect to be on the, the show, so... A lot of stuff coming at me quickly. So, uh. <laughs> well, and 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 we're coming at you a little later than we wanted. Sorry for the people in Europe. He had some things to do. I had some fires to put out myself, and so uh, hopefully those of you that are in other parts of the world staying up late uh, are having a good time. Let's uh, real quick check out the chat. Who is hanging out with us live on stream? We got Corn Mafia Zeke saying yo yo. Well, yo yo back to you, sir, and congratulations on your recent promotion uh glad to see that empire hanging out also seeing uh let's let's see which gems you find hopefully we'll find yeah. quite a few yeah i yeah. think we're gonna need her help man she's a pretty good sleuth you know i have to admit i she was in the uh, twitter space the other day and she was talking about some things that i hadn't even seen in in the leak video that they posted i guess it was about a week not maybe six five or six days ago Something like that. But um, all right. So yeah. who else we got? Yeah, I was going to say, we'll, we'll double back to it. But she also zeroed in on the Kopi Labs thing, which they talked about kind of sort of in this episode. They did. Uh, let's see. Federica. Hello. Go, go. Welcome to the stream. Raven uh, sending us a couple of brewskis. She's also ready to go or he's all ready to go. I'm not sure uh, exactly if it's a he or a she don't or a hit. People. <laughs> I, you know, I don't put, I don't like to put people in boxes. Sometimes it just slips out. Raven, Raven could go either way, honestly. Totally. Absolutely. Matt Jones, welcome to the stream. Appreciate you hopping along with us. And uh, of course, a stream wouldn't be a stream without Mr. Stein. Ladies and gentlemen, he is our wrench. He is going to be our mod, keeping you guys in line, making sure you're in check. So big round of applause going out to him for devoting his time we we don't pay him anything on this channel seriously i don't even know how the guy eats it's crazy <laughs> yeah all right okay what do you say we get started mr freiler sound good sounds good yeah let's just dive into it all right so what i've done is i've clipped just the leak part out of the video so we can take a look at things and uh, i've actually got a tool uh here that should allow us to zoom in and I wanted to start on this screen because there's some signage here and uh, you may be able to see it all. You may not. Let's see if we do that. Nope. Of course. Wrong. Wrong hotkey. Uh, helps even you have the window selected. Come on. Teach this guy how to use a computer. All right. So we're going to use our little interactive zoom box here. And if we notice off in the distance, it says Skyway Bubble Jet. So I don't know if that is the logo. I guess that's the logo for the tram that, that, that they're riding around that we see in there. Would you assume that the, the, yeah, the monorail? Well, yeah, 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 exactly. The monorail. I was going to say that. Yeah. Cause they saw the track when they were discussing it in the video and they mentioned that bubble jet does more than just flying vehicles. So they probably made the monorail, the skyway as well. I think. I think that is a very good assumption. And I believe they also told us that there were actually three trains running at any given time. So, all right, well, let's go ahead and zoom into this signage here. Uh, apparently we've got uh, level A is going to be public parking. Uh, level B is VIP parking. I'm, I'm, I'm sorry, Friday, we don't get to park on the same level there. 
Uh, I don't know about that. I'm just kidding. I'm kidding. We'll both be at the VIP park and hopefully. Uh, then we've got level C, which looks like it's highlighted and, and it's saying main entrance. So I feel like this place that we're looking at right now is level C, the main entrance level. Would you, would you concur with that? Yeah, absolutely. Yeah, that makes sense. I hadn't thought of it, but now you're saying that. Yeah. Okay. And I'm not sure. I, I don't know because I know I, it's probably smaller on your screen, but can you see the three below that? Yeah, I can, can, can when I'm looking them? off of my computer right now. Yeah. <laughs> there is a little bit of a delay on the computer, but uh, if you want to go ahead and read off those real quick, and I think we can yeah, we got, some things. Yeah, uh, we got level D is the convention center. We've got E, Valley Grand Hotel. And F, the utility and maintenance. Ah, definite nuggets there. So let's first start off with the convention center. I think that there is a decent chance that that will be an active place where people can meet up and have maybe like little conventions. I think that so would be this, super cool, right? Absolutely. Yeah. Yeah. So hang on. So this, this whole stop right here is at just the just at the resort basically that we're going to be able to occupy during the testing portion of the racing game right is that correct i okay so i don't know exactly where we're at right here and right now um <clears throat> perhaps when we go forward in the video we'll be able to tell a little better i know that the mega dome okay so you've got your mega dome and that houses everything right this whole kind of resort area and Okay. It also is your entrance to the racetrack and, and pretty much everything we saw in the video. It, 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 at the top of this sign, it says Kalito Metro. And so I'm thinking that these are the things that are attached to this kind of little metro area. Because I know there's a lot more in here than just these five things, right? You've got a couple parking decks. Then you've got a convention center. You've got a Valley Grand Hotel. I know there's, I, I believe I saw multiple hotels in here. So it looks like one hotel is attached to this Kalito Metro station, I guess, maybe. And then um, it looks like we've got a utility and maintenance area. Now that's intriguing to me. What are your thoughts on that? Yeah. Uh, and speaking of maintenance, uh, Looks like chat cannot hear me very well. Uh, oh, they can't. Am I coming through clear now? Hold, hold I'm sorry to derail the show for a second, but hold on. I've got the camera light. Let me boost his level a little bit. It might be on my side. Uh, let me see here. Let me let me let me get you all the way up. Let's try again. Can you guys hear him? Yeah. Can you guys hear me a little better? Whoa, that's a little bit hot. Hold on. Uh, let me get a mic check on you, sir. Oh, he just decided to leave the show. Just ran. Sorry, I'm no, turning I'm off the. Oh, he's turning off the AC. Casey that up too. Oh, maybe that's it. He says, uh, he says you can hear. Okay, let's see here. Uh, Friler sound like you are right, Gio. It's the wrong microphone. Yeah, his main mic isn't working. Uh, we're 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 doing it through. He's shooting it's through his iPhone, prop. and we couldn't. Yeah, it's just it's just a prop. It's just there for show. But uh, I, I promise you, we're gonna have more collaborations where the good mic is working. Have no fear. Um, all right, all right. Well, let's take us too far off track. It looks like I'm a little bit better. Yeah. Again, yeah, I apologize for the poor audio. <laughs> ah, no worries, no worries. They, they're here for the content, not the quality of 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 yeah, your Yeah, they, they're your here audio. to watch us crash and burn. This was expected. <laughs> they're like, oh man, Frowler's going to totally screw this up. <laughs> so, what are your thoughts on that uh, utility and 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 maintenance area? Do you think that I that's going to be for like the the racing vehicles, or do you think that that's a utility and maintenance area for for the for the metro itself? Yeah, honestly, I hadn't even seen it yet. So, I mean, hopefully, is it just to make it more realistic? And so it's just like on the board? No, they probably wouldn't do that, right? It could be. Like restrooms listed and stuff then too. But hopefully it's for like vehicles and stuff. It'd be a little lackluster for maintenance on the, the monorail. But I mean, well, I don't know. Again, Let's like you said, it might be to make the experience more real, like for, to make us go, okay, there's some place where they actually work on these monorails. Right. That, that wouldn't be too crazy bad. But yeah, I mean, if, if, if you can actually go down there and like after you, you know, bang up your, 
your javelin in a in, in a race or something and and you could do some maintenance on it then i think that would be super sweet but uh yeah i mean i think that stands the reason too because we already know there's going to be maintenance on the vehicle so all right i'm but gonna the go ahead and of maintenance makes me think like maybe it's not just that but yeah i digress agreed. Agreed. I'm going to go ahead and uh, play this. Uh, again, we've got some just kind of general signage. I'm going to try and wait until we get to a spot where there's stuff that we can kind of investigate. Uh, wait, yeah. What was that guy's name again? What guy? That uh, guy. That fan, oh, that Myth guy. Mythic Mike? Are you talking about him? Mythic Mike. Okay, yeah. I knew he had some sort of cool name. Yeah, Mythic Mike. Okay. Not to be confused with Magic right? Mike. Yeah, exactly. He is a new NPC. Magic that is... Mike. That's what I wanted to say, but I knew that wasn't right. <laughs> I made a little joke about that in the uh, comments before here. Uh, no. Let's see here. Okay, so now we're getting to the first stop, it looks like. And um, all right, well, hold on. Let me back that up just a smidge. Uh, and I apologize if you guys are getting any screen tear. Screen tear. I'm not sure if that was on the recording of the video or if that was, I'm noticing a hair, a small, okay, wait, wait, is that it? Yeah, let's go back there. There we go. All right. So in the background, we've got a uh, an ad for the GTI Javelin. Looks super sleek. And then we got a Kobe Cafe coffee and tea with all the Cornucopias branding. It looks very Starbucks-ish, I have to say. What do you think? Yeah, I agree. And we must be in the convention center now, right? Sure. Uh, let's so see. Highlighted on the side to the side. Let's see if we can zoom in a little more here. Uh. Is that what you were talking about or that sign over there? Yeah, yes, yeah, to the yes. right hand side of the screen. I do believe that, yeah, there's a public parking main entrance. Now we have gone to the convention center and that apparently is where we are stepping off. So uh, let's go ahead and keep the video going a little bit further. I like that they're doing the Kopi Cafe into a real life brand and like an actual cafe, coffee and tea. So I think that was genius. That's cool. I do too. They'll live on forever, even when they quit. I mean, hopefully they never <laughs> do. But I mean, one day they got to stop making them, right? They hey, got to go on and live their lives. I'm ready for my right. moonshot cola, baby. That's what I'm looking forward to. Send me a case of that. Um, okay. Yeah, I'm drinking on the <laughs> This beverage is sponsored by. Yeah, you got that right. Stein is telling us that the uh, screen tearing is in the recording of the video. So I know they were uh, trying to crank out a lot of pixels and things like that. So. Uh, but it's, 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 it's only slight. I know it won't, it won't be that way in the game because, uh, well, I guess I don't know a hundred percent, but, uh, oftentimes when you're recording video that happens. All right. So, um, what I wanted to do, and I may have to go back even just a smidge more. We may have to go frame by frame here. Hold on. Uh, there we go. Yeah. So I think it's E. Yeah. There's a couple signs on the. Oh, wait, I went too far. One frame too far. I wanted to make sure that we could uh, check out some of these signs over here first. So let's go back. Come on, come on, we're getting there. There it is. All right, so we see a, a sign for blue. <laughs> it looks like a little two, like O2 or something like that. I think that's water, the clear choice for water. Uh, so somebody's probably going to be selling water somewhere out there. Then we've got, um, we'll see a sign for this later. I believe it's uh, cloud crisps. It's, it's very, very hard to read right there. Hold on. Let's, let's put the zoom on, but it's still hard to read there. Uh, but I believe it's uh, cloud crisps. We get a better look at that later. 100% delicious. Love it. Uh, then it looks like uh, Kopi Cola. So, and I can't quite read it. I see flavor, but I can't quite read the top word. And then yeah, it, me neither. and then the, and then it starts getting fuzzy. They start getting uh, a little too far in the distance. And yeah, hopefully we'll get we'll get a better a better look at that a little bit later on in the video. So you know what's crazy? And they they said it in the video. They had to make fifty brands. I know that's for the, like, nuts. Can you imagine having to come up with like 50 brand concepts, designs, no. names? Like, nope, it'd be difficult. Don't want to do it. Not going to do it. Not yeah, this I'm guy. glad that wasn't my job. It, it, there's so much that you just don't think about that goes into this stuff, you know, and I'm sure that's just one of very, very many. But yeah, it's just it's crazy. Uh, somebody in co uh, in the chat earlier today said something about a Herculean task. 
And I have to admit, after seeing this, I can't even imagine the amount of hours that went into this. But all right. So yeah, as we yeah, absolutely. as we pan around a little bit, we do see another bubble jet sign um, stating mythical bragging rights. It looks like uh, the bubble jet and that looks like the mythic variety, that kind of bubble yeah. gum pink. Love that. Rockabilly pink. Oh, rockabilly. Yep. That, that yeah. could be it. And also another, uh, let's see, uh, another advertisement for Kopi Cafe. So then we come back. We've got the same signage as you pointed out before, uh, basically telling us, hey, you're at the convention center. And that is always good to know where you're at. And I'm, I'm trying to see, did we miss it? Yeah, they don't go back to that. Hold on. There's, there's one over here, frame by frame, all the way to the right, if you guys check it out. Hyper wear apparel, I believe is what that says. I can't see the the all of it, but I think it's hyper wear. This makes me think of the shirts that you used to get back in the 90s that would change you you'd wear them and they would change colors depending on like whether it was hot or cold outside. There was a whole line and they were they were kind of a big thing for a while. And I'm really wondering if if this is like an homage to that. I, I think that's super cool. What do you think? Yeah, that would be really cool. That was actually before my time, but I've seen them like on the internet and they're really sweet. I wonder why they quit making clothing like that. It's all right, man. You can just call me old. It's 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 okay. I can, I can take it. All right. I got a thick skin, sir. No, I'm just kidding. Um, yeah. You don't remember the Hypercolor t-shirts? I, I just, I, I don't think I ever had any. I don't know if anybody was wearing them in the 90s. So wow. when were they popular? It was like, the 60s, right? No, dude. This was like, like, like 90s. <sighs> was it the 90s? Yeah, I want to say, if I had to guess, I'd say. I was in Alaska. Like so maybe I'm 91. Just... Oh, dude, they only had one color shirt there because it's always butt cold. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> um, Let's see here. Uh, Oh, ladies and gentlemen, Rob Gregg is, is hanging out with us. He's. He's saying, ha ha, this is funny. Well, glad glad we can amuse a little bit. Uh, also, Sheridan hanging out as well. Uh, mutual aid Dow. And who else? Who else? Who else? Uh, let's see. Core Mafia Zeke having Evan's some fun. In here. Anything else you guys are wanting us to look, look at? Let's see. Core Mafia Zeke said, knowing what you know, I'm sure he's getting some, some laughs. Yeah. I'm sure he's just loving that. Again, this is very similar to what we did the other day on, on the Twitter space. And I know Rob had it. it. Yeah. And what I thought that would be better, right? They can see the visuals. So, all right, let's, uh, let's keep going here. Ah, oh, pilot know, math coming in as also, or pilot MAF. I'm not, I can't remember how to say it, but yeah, I'm sorry. What I was gonna say, I know we haven't gotten there yet, but I wanted to. I just got reminded when I saw Rob again that uh, Empire had brought up during that Twitter space the the Kopi Labs and what it could potentially do, and then we mm. saw it in the video a little bit. It like turned night to day, and Josh kept almost saying something about Kopi Labs, and they'd be like, "Oh, oh, uh, here, let's let's catch this train real quick, or whatever." You know, it wasn't the train; it was like some sort of transportation, but. They never got around to saying their explanation of it any of like the three times that they attempted to. So well, I know uh, they talked I don't know about if they did that on purpose, or they accidentally like, or if they edited it out, or what. what? Well, I know they talked a little bit about it, it was a place to test things. Now they didn't give us a whole lot more than that, but you know we do know that uh, that there may be more to come out. I don't know. I I assume that they're going to show us more. Rob talked about. I mean, uh, excuse me, Josh talked about uh maybe having them do you know showing us some racing coming up soon some multiplayer racing so they there may be they, they just didn't want to reveal it all in one video that'd be my well, guess yeah definitely right but yeah. yeah yeah all right gogo -Go is saying that the hyper color was in the 80s was it really was it in the 80s i don't know uh let's see here stein uh <laughs> stein doing yeoman's work there re uh, reminding everybody to subscribe and uh like and also uh, turn on those notifications if you want to be notified when i come out with other videos let's see here. what a mod uh let's see okay so mutual aid aka uh sheridan is asking can we crash the vehicles now 
Uh, he's asking Rob that, but I'm going to go ahead and take that one. I, they've talked about damaging the vehicles in races, and that's that's certainly a possibility. So, uh, <laughs> Rebuild Rebel wants to know if Josh's avatar is drinking water. Mm, I haven't seen any water yet, but I do know that we saw a, a water brand in here, so we'll see. All right, let's go ahead and roll. Uh, let's let's try and keep this thing going here, so we can try and get to everything in a halfway timely manner. As they're walking down, oh yeah, this is where you see the crisps, the cloud crisps. Yeah, and I yeah. like I like that they're called cloud crisps. I have to say, I'm gonna go out on a limb and say this was this was Rob's idea, or he had some sort of input because they're potato chips as we call them here in the United States. But I do know that over across the pond, they call them crisps. So either Rob or some somebody else from that kind of region, I think probably either had some sort of hand in that one. But as you can see, they're 100% delicious. Yeah, yeah, it's interesting. It kind of shows how international the team is, huh? Absolutely. I love having the different flavors of all the different things. All right, so we get here. And again, just another sign. None of these signs have changed other than the fact of letting us know exactly where we're at. That's always nice. But we do have a born to run, uh, excuse me, born to run, born to perform uh, Valkyrie, Valkyrie, Valkyrie logo on the right hand side. And somebody in Cornucopia's general earlier this morning said they thought that that might be kind of the Nike of the Cornucopias, uh, just based on on the way the symbol looks. I don't know. I don't. I I have a hard time really getting a lot from that. Uh, I mean, I could totally see it being a sports brand, but what do you what do you think? Does that look like anything specific to you? No, no, I couldn't say uh, anything specific about it. Although mirroring it is another sporting goods branding, so that's true. I mean, that could perhaps, be that could be like tires or something like that. You know what? It kind of reminds me of um, what is it? Uh, Pirelli tires? No, no, that's not the one that uh, the other one. The the uh, oh. The, the, one, the one from Asia. No, they're really high end, high performance. If we got a car guy in here, uh, Rebuild Rebel, he's a car guy. What's what's the real high performance tires that that are uh, over in Asia? I th I think they're Japanese. Maybe I'm not 100 percent sure. Uh, yeah, okay. I like, I like Empire's idea that it could be more like an auto part. Okay. Okay. There you go. I'd buy that. Oh wow, Rob saying not his idea. It's all Mark's work. Uh, okay. Well, kudos to Mark. I love the, I love the, the flavor of, of calling them crisps as opposed to potato chips. Uh, yeah. Yokohama. That's the one. See, see, that's, it's always good to have a car guy in your, in your YouTube chat. All right, let's go ahead and uh, try and see if we can get a better shot of the one on the left here. Uh, there we go. Uh, peak sporting goods. Get lost finding yourself. Love the tagline. Oh. <laughs> right? Doesn't that sound like a real freaking product? Yeah, definitely. Yeah. All right. It really does. Uh, I was laughing because Rob said that the, the character we're watching, Lauren, has a Valkyrie branding on the back of her suit currently. She does. Oh, so, so maybe it's I a clothing it line. Too. Yeah. Hold on. Let me, let's get the zoom in here. Uh, and, and, and show what Rob's talking about. Yeah, I agree. I think that's a clothing line right then, right then and there. There's magic. What's that green sign? Green sign oh, over here. Uh, yeah, actually. Okay. So the one on the right, I believe is the moonshot cola. The one on the left was the one we were trying to figure out the other day in the spaces. Yeah, that's what um, I was thinking. It looks like we get the the beginning of it. We do. It's funny if you if you take the this piece and and merge it with the one we saw in in the other one, you can get the first half and the last half. Last half. We were trying to figure out what it said, and it's cornucopias. Trade is that first word. Do you remember what the second word was? I forgot. No, I don't. Chat. Anybody in chat with it? <sighs> Are we gonna have to pull it up? Hold on. Let me see if I can pull it up. I got I got the YouTube's open. Let's see here. Chat probably remembers. Zoom in. Zoom in. We are zoomed in. 
They, these people are That's like right. enhance, enhance. Yeah. I'm like, it's not like it is on TV. There's only so yeah, it's far not you CSI. Can go. We can't do that. Actually, we can't. There, it, we have the technology. All right, hold on. There is another method that we can do it. Hang tight there, and let's do this. He wants us to zoom in on the sign. Is that what he's trying for? Or? I think I think he might be kidding. Let's see here. We can we can try to zoom in more. We can do it this way. Oh, cornucopias trade something. All right, hold on. Let me let me pull up the the teaser from the other day. I love how we got to go like from video to video to put the whole puzzle together. I it's 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 like a mystery. Uh, all right. Uh, teaser, Cornucopia's channel videos. Are you ready, Dev Short? That's what it was. All right, we got the sound off. Let's see if we can go to that spot in the video. Yeah, let's skip the ad. Let's go full screen. And I want to say it was around thirty seconds. No, 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 that was the whole video. It was somewhere around here. Hang on. Yeah, like nineteen seconds or something. Division, like that. division. Okay, so it's Cornucopia's Trading division. division. That's what it was, right? Yeah. If we put it, we got Trade or, or Trade Division. Okay. Yeah. Cornucopia's Trade Division. See? We're getting to the bottom of some of this stuff, kids. Real it's pretty inconsequential since answers. we kind of already had the gist of what it did, but we're answering questions. <sighs> Way to way to undersell it, man. Come on. We just did something huge here. But yeah, you're right. We yeah. already knew. We could see the big Every. stock exchange. You, heard it you could see the stock exchange type symbols and ticker going around the edge. Uh but yeah. still, yeah, still we super what was cool. going on, right? Yeah. We just didn't know the the full on name. Trading di or trade division. That makes sense. All right. So let's go ahead and roll that beautiful bean footage. And I think they're getting ready to race to the steps. Uh, yeah, they're kind of hanging out. Josh smoked Rob in that race. Yeah, we're just going to... Yeah, he did. It wasn't even close. Actually, yeah. you know what? There could be a nugget or two as they're going around the steps. So let's let's go ahead and watch the race. We'll see if we need to freeze it anywhere. Because <laughs> sometimes, it, like he said, it's a very tall staircase. And um, as it spirals, we might be able to pick up stuff in the background. So let's leave yeah, no stone unturned. Whoop. Hold on. Let me go back and let me frame by frame that. Okay, let's go. Can we see something over across the way there? I'm kind of looking in like this region. That looks like the same signage we get. Okay. Uh, now, I believe there's a sign right here behind this, but can't really see it very good mm -hmm. so all right we'll turn off the zoom for a second and we'll go back frame by frame it mm. just want to make sure we're not missing anything on one of these lower levels or something okay now we're up top and this is the entrance to a taste of solace, I believe, or what was it? A glimpse of a solace. A glimpse of solace, that's right. Uh, so yeah, we'll go ahead and keep playing this because there's not, I don't think, other than having a big giant, you know, replica of the dome, which I think is really cool because I would assume that that is solace floating on top. Uh, okay, there. I know they're doing some voiceover. I turned off the voices just uh, so we could discuss it without uh, being kind of distracted. But uh, if you guys haven't seen this video, by the way, go watch it. I mean, immediately, if not sooner, because it's absolutely amazing. And hearing them talk about it, because they know what it is. They know what's going on. We're just a couple of jokers trying to find little hidden cookies in it. But uh, uh, make sure you go check out the official Cornucopia's YouTube channel to see the full video. Uh, let's see. What does it say? It says, explore a whole new world. And then we've got a grand opening of the Kalito Valley Waste, uh, racetrack, raceway. Sign behind it. Tough to see, but, um, I think we all get the idea. Yeah. All right, moving on. 
Let's see. What's Chuck doing? Yeah, I love the uh, the like hologram that they put in there. I oh thought my that God. was stupid, really awesome. Stupid sick. I'm so uh... yeah. Not like as a visual element, it was really amazing. And then also just uh, putting in that footwork uh, ahead of the curve of letting people know that it's not just the racing game. You know? Oh yeah. Uh, so it's like twofold. It was really it was really brilliant. I agree. I think I, you know we talked about them releasing the racing game before. Uh, any of the theme zones and, and and what kind of confusion that could cause. And like you said, I think it solves two different things. It, it gives everybody a nice little glimpse and it also lets you know, hey, wait, there's a lot more to this metaverse than just the racing. So very, very smart by their 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 point. Hold on, let me let me check on chat. I want to make sure we're not going too far in the video. Uh da -da 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 -da. DN Cornucopia Trade Network, CTD. Yep, they're calling it CTD. Great sleuthing. Appreciate it. Thanks, thanks. All right. Uh, so, okay, so Stein is saying Solace has a section that looks like Africa. Let's go ahead and let them get to the magic. I love this whole area because this totally looks like a place that would be at, at a theme park or at some, you know, high-tech museum where you'd have the kind of wraparound screen and then you have this beautiful little layout of solace um i'm actually gonna wait until i know she hops up on there and we get a little bit of a bird's eye view there we go all right so here we are looking at solace ladies and gentlemen and it goes by pretty quickly when they're just you know kind of running through it but I wanted to kind of take a look at some of the topography and obviously, yeah, it's a little bit pixelated because we are zooming in, uh, even though this is 4k video, um, it still gets a little bit pixelated because again, remember it's a 3d object that's moving, but I just kind of wanted to show in a little bit greater detail, some of these areas you got a, you got like a, a couple of mountain peaks and a little bit of a right you got a big old hole right there i was gonna say like a massive sinkhole in the Ooh, top of that one look at that or is it some sort of mm. canyon or i don't yeah, know yeah yeah something like that but very cool stuff there you've got kind of a plains area to the right uh lots of winding water areas and a couple of of, of large kind of lake pools which are fascinating um You've got some places that look like they could be containing maybe some waterfalls as, as the edge runs off, um, kind of in this area right here. And just overall, the whole landscape is so like varied and detailed and intricate. And this is just like one of the solaces. So that was really great to see that it's not just like massive open plains or something like that, you know, like it's definitely got a lot of detail to it yeah and he said one of the solaces and my question is is does that mean that that's like okay so solace is a zone and he said one of the solaces do, do we think that this is like a sector is that what we're thinking thoughts i'd have to brush up on the the exact Let's definitions see, goes, that they have in the Kopi Wiki for each of them, I guess. It goes zones, sectors, and then districts, I believe. Is that isn't that right? So I'm I'm wondering, is 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 this a sector? Sector one, maybe? Rebuild Rebels chiming in. Interesting. Very interesting. Uh but yeah. So who knows? We'll, we'll, we'll find out, but it's super cool to see some of the actual topography of what we're going to be running around in and in a 3d environment. It reminds me, I was telling Rob in the chat earlier that it reminds me a lot of, of, uh, and Stein, I know he's seen this, um, Westworld, the, the kind of 3d map they have in there and, uh, to be able to like get in there and walk around and check things out. Super cool. So all right. Um, not sure how much more we can knowledge we can gain from that. Uh, most of these pictures I think we've seen before. Uh, I'm pretty sure they're the ones that are on the website because I've downloaded yeah. most of them. <laughs> yeah, I was going to say they look very familiar. All right. So what else we got? Oh, that's weird. Oh, I thought there was something on the screen and it turns out it was like a bird flying across. Did you guys see that? 
Like oh, this, yeah, I see it this now. black yeah. bird in the middle. Hold on, let me let me let me rewind it a little bit. I oh, thought, yeah, I wait a minute, because the delay, I can see it. But there's yeah. there's something on my screen, and apparently there's a black bird flying across Solace, which is great. Okay, moving on. Uh, so those aren't still frames; those are videos. They have to be. They have to be video because yeah, we saw the bird moving crazy although i'm not seeing water moving so maybe it's some sort of like kind of i don't know you know they do the pictures where they got a still on the background and then they've got an animation on the f foreground maybe it's maybe it's oh, one yeah. of those kind of deals gotcha yeah nah <laughs> chia is saying hope the names will be different than solace one and so on hopefully they get cool secondary names i agree uh, Great recommendation. It could be Solace, you know, Sector 1, and then it could be Solace Sector 2, Solace Sector 3, Solace Sector 4. I'd be okay with that. But if they want to throw in kind of a little sub name to, to help remember them, that I, I, I could see some value in that. That'd be cool. But it, it also might get confusing, too. I don't know. I'm, I'm, I'll have to think about that one. I got to marinate for a minute. All right. So we're getting back to the main area here. Uh, another grand opening sign. By the way, if you see something, feel free to just tell me to pause it and and if I'm if I'm missing anything. You're kind of my second what? set of eyes there, Frother. Yeah, no, no worries. I'm, I'm looking around. Where do you think that cave went, though? I think it went to Solace. <laughs> yeah. I think if they kept running here, let's rewind. I Rob mentioned in the video that we're told we can only go this far, and I think it's because they would have been walking actually into Solace. And I think, yeah, let, I'll, I'll pick a spot where I think it was. I don't know. I'm, I'm really just shooting from the hip. But just so you get the idea of what I mean, you know, I'm thinking they came out uh, in a cave somewhere around here or something. You know what I'm saying? On the map. I think. It's, okay. You think it's going to teleport you to yeah, Solace? Yeah, I do. Absolutely. I think that's a doorway to go to actual Solace. Okay. I don't know. I, I'd imagine that it was just going to be like an area that like replicated it in some ways. But maybe. That would be interesting. That would be cool. Maybe. Maybe so. Uh, but, but how cool would it be in the future for you to be able to be in the raceway and then just be able to walk right into Solace? Or maybe later in the future, they have ones for Fortune and for um, Esperanza. I don't yeah. know. But you're, yeah, you're, I, you're probably right. It's probably just a little little area don't don't let me hit you in the face with a wet sponge as sign said uh i would love there to be teleporters i think teleporters would be way cooler so let's hope so in fact it's interesting you said that because when i saw them do the little night to day switch when they first walked in i'm like is that a teleporter so that's uh, what i thought i my first thought was tardis right and i'm going okay is it going to teleport them somewhere are we going back in time are we going to other dimensions what 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 is that all about and i'm like I got done and I'm like, oh, okay, it's a light switch. That's awesome. Like a yeah. like a god <laughs> light switch, right? You turn yeah, on the yeah, it turns the sun off. Yeah. <laughs> okay. So that must be individually controlled by each player, huh? Like if I change it night to day, it's not gonna affect anybody else. So See, could players you're... some could be in the day, some could be in night at the same time. Getting just a little ahead, but I was exactly gonna go there. Let's uh let's catch up with our brains. Let's let's let the video catch up to our brains. So, yeah, I agree with you 1,000%. This must mean that I could theoretically have the daylights on in my version of Cornucopias that I'm running on my computer, and you could be running around at the exact same time of day, but have it be the night version. Now, again, this is for the, for the, for the mega dome, right? I, we, I don't know that this will be be in say the public areas or the themed zones i guess this is gotcha. the public area now maybe gotcha. they'll have this feature like that maybe maybe it's exactly that you can either play with the lights on or off whenever you want or maybe that's just inside the racing dome you guys decide but i think it's super cool so i'm gonna go ahead and play the video here and as you would think the darker colored one allows you to turn the lights off and the lighter colored one allows you to turn the lights on and by lights i mean like sun 
<laughs> because the lights are the other lights are on all the time, which is great. Love that. Oh, oh, hold on, hold on. We missed some signage. Hold on. Let's go back. What was that? Okay, Copy Cola. All right. So the future of trading has arrived. So that's okay. All of these I think are that's brands we've gotcha. seen before. Yeah. Uh, better sooner than later, Skyway, Bubble Jet. Uh, reach for the flavor, Copi Cola Grape. I love it. Oh, I hope they have the different flavors. Grape Cola. Outstanding. All yeah, right. Grape's a good one to start with. It is. Well, I mean, you can have Grape Cola, Orange, Lime, Cherry, all the different flavors. Oh, hold on. I saw something out of the corner of my eye. Let's go back real quick. There we go. Uh, do I need to go further? Just in case. Ooh, there's a hidden sign too. All right. We're going to go frame by frame in this one. So there is something off. It looks like a Kalito Valley Raceway sign. I'm pretty sure. Right there. Uh, okay, it's, it's just a sign to the convention center. But let's frame by frame it. Come on. What did I see over here? Hmm. Can we take, there may be a tree in the way. Is that something new? Oh no, I, I guess that's just a glimpse of solace. That's more signage for a glimpse yeah. of solace. I apologize. Nothing to see here. Okay, yeah, and well, you never know, man. You got to turn every stone, right? Exactly. I'm all about stone turning. All right, let's see here. Let's fast forward a little bit. Oh, okay. So then we got the Jet Motel, and we did see this also in the leak the other day. Um, Jet Hotel, and I think that says Spa. Jet Hotel and Spa. Let's see. Anything else? Is that just Jet? Is that the ending of Bubble Jet? I don't think so. I think those are two different companies. I think that, I mean... It, it could be, but I, I'll, I'll show you why here in a second. In fact, hold on. Let me see if I can pull it up here. Where did that uh, YouTube channel go? Yeah. If we go back to the teaser trailer, this is why I don't think so. And I'm trying to remember where it was. Was it? Okay, there. Uh, okay, I think it's, I think it's further. Um... Right there. So if you notice right here, we have got the big bubble jet logo. Oh, maybe it is. Maybe this is supposed to be here. Yeah, it probably is. That's probably their hotel brand. That would be my guess. Yeah. Gotcha. Good Man, call. yeah, they really got a finger in every pie, huh? Well, yeah, because see, I was seeing this. I saw the Oasis and I thought that maybe the bubble jet uh, sign was was in front of the Oasis. So I thought maybe Bubble Jet had the Oasis Hotel and then Jet Hotel and Suites was something different. Now, the logos are totally different. So I don't know if they're the same or if they're different, but I could see Bubble Jet owning it and that's kind of like their hotel brand. I don't know. Maybe it's a subsidiary. I'm not sure. Can we get some legal paperwork in here to find out? All right. Um. Anyway. Okay, let's go back to the one today, because I'm sure you guys have all hashed and rehashed the one from the other day. Although, I'll let the chat talk. If they want us to kind of do this from the one that happened the other day in, in visual form, we'll, we'll do that. Whatever. We're just hanging out. It's a Saturday. Just glad to have everybody along. Appreciate you watching. Yeah, definitely. All right. Oh, there's signs over to the right. Oh, ah, man. I'm like... Josh, just look a little little further to the right. I can see a nugget. All right, so here we have the Skyway, which is clearly by Bubble Jet. Okay, now here's some other ones. Oh, wait, wait, wait. Back, 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 back. What do we got? All right, we're going frame by frame because instant pulse. Okay, so hmm. we've got the, uh, the future of trading with the Cornucopius trading. Uh, then we've got a future classic. It looks like another bubble jet. Is that the Bonanza? It might. I think it's the Bonanza. I think that's a bubble jet Bonanza poster would be my guess. And then we've got instant energy, pulse power. 
So another energy drink. Man, they're going to get us hopped up on all kinds of goofballs, aren't they? Probably need it for like stamina in the game or something, huh? Yes, yes. And then over here, I see it says home dock loop. Uh, let's see here. Hmm. So maybe there are different tracks or different skyways that take you different places. I did notice that right as they were getting ready to hop off. Uh, let's see. There's some more signage over there. I think we've seen most of those. Oh, there's a hot dog. There's a hot dog, kids. We got wieners. All right, let's see. If you go... I'm wondering if that's going to be the eatery that we saw in the um, the dev update that they put out for, I think it was April dev update. Yeah, uh, we got a couple eateries over here. We got it. We got a picture of a hot dog. I can't zoom in and see what the name is. I think it just says hot dog. Uh, it does look like it just says hot dog. And then, <laughs> and then some mustard squiggly below it. You know, yeah, I, that's just mustard. That's not text. A yeah. delight with every bite. Uh, but there is something on that sign. All right, hold on. We're gonna try zoom in method two. Uh, let's go back. Let's turn that one off and let's try to do the screen capture method. Sometimes some of these work a little better than others. Let's try to get this whole thing and take that guy. Boom. All right, yeah, that just looks like hot dog. I, I want to say that almost looks like sushi. Mmm, so pixelated. A delight with every bite. Mmm, don't know. But it looks like they're going to have some eateries in there. Uh, let's check in with the chat, make sure I'm not missing anything. Oh, you're, you're staying on the chat. Good man, dude. Well done, sir. Let's see. Oh, I here. just tossed up two question marks. It's not like I did much. <laughs> Empire is saying the night and day TARDIS, that's for sure. What is that? Uh the TARDIS, night and day, mm -hmm. being able to turn on night and day. What does TARDIS mean? Uh the TARDIS is the little phone booth in Doctor No, I believe. And and I know people are gonna crucify me for not I've seen like four episodes of season one of Dr. No. And everybody tells me, all right, you got to go back and watch it because it gets better and it gets better and it gets better. You know, who knows? Maybe I'll do that this weekend or, or, or soon. But uh, I know I need to give Dr. No another shot. Like I said, I've seen four or five episodes. But yeah, that is the, the, the uh, time slash dimension vehicle, I guess, of Dr. No. Okay, gotcha. Okay, what else we got? Good stuff as always. Appreciate it. What's up, fam? Eric Taylor hanging out. Uh, George who? Vivas, or probably Jorge Vivas. Doctor Who? Who? That's what? funny because I've never heard of Doctor No, but I was wondering, Doctor Who? Is that it? <laughs> it is Doctor Who. That is exactly right. Uh, let's see. David Watkins also joining the stream. Glad to have you along. Appreciate it. All right, let's get back and see what we can see. Uh, what was that other... Hold on, that, one other thing here. I think that was just, yeah, that was the bubble jet. Better sooner than late. All right, okay. But there was one other thing here real quick. Mm, yeah, this is what I was talking about. At the very end of the video, noticed, noticed they cut it off rather abruptly as I believe Josh was asking Rob if he wanted to hop on this transport. So... <laughs> I think it's very interesting that not only do we have the little metro rail or the monorail, they've also got these little floating discs. Yeah, that was interesting. There goes a monorail. We can see it. And here, any second, there should be a floating disc that is coming by. I don't know if that's their version of like an escalator or if here it comes. Look at that floating disc. That is cool. Is it the home dock? The home home dock loop. It probably is the home dock. And it probably goes on a loop. Uh, you know, I would almost venture to say that these are stops maybe along the loop. 
Maybe these will be different racetracks. Uh, could that be? Could this be to take you to the racing? If you notice, it looks like a racing wheel, right? And maybe there, okay, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven stops. I know they're planning on having multiple racetracks. Could that be you ride this to get to the racetrack and then you go to that racetrack? Maybe, you know, that one's that one. I don't know. You guys tell yeah. me. What do you think? It could very well be, huh? Uh, Empire saying, what's the rogue sign? Oh, I said Doctor No. I meant Doctor Who. Yeah, I'm sorry. Brain fart. Rob corrected me on that. Yes, Doctor Who, not Doctor No. Doctor No was a villain in Bond, I think. Is that right? I don't know. I get my doctors mixed up. I'm sorry. Say that again, Fry Fryler. Uh, Empire was asking about what's the rogue sign. The rogue I missed it. I didn't see it either. Rogue sign? Ooh, I missed rogue, it too. Uh, Hold on, where are we? Uh, do us a favor. Tell us how far back we need to go. And then Eric was also wondering: Is it safe to say that this is downtown Solace? Which, mm, correct me if yeah. I'm wrong, but this would be this is the the mega racing dome for Kalito Valley, right? Not not actually in Solace itself. That is, is correct. Kalito Valley a sector of Solace? No, 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 no. As I understand it, this is a mega dome all on its own. And this is this is more like, if you want to call it downtown, I don't know. I I, I believe they we're mentioned a the resort. resort. Aren't we? Didn't they yeah. say that in the video? In the video, I, I do believe they called it resort. That is correct. And... To the left, she said. To the left, to the left. Oh, there it is. It's right there in front of us. The gray one. Yeah. <laughs> Can you oh. find it for us, Empire? <laughs> well, I was, I was, I was scrolling yeah. back, but yeah, 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 yeah. I know I'm teasing. Good yeah. call. No, I, I, I don't know. Okay. Um, something perfected. Rogue. Tac. Tisha. T a c t. I c a. Is that help me out, guys? I my my eyes and I can't quite see. Tactier. Is that a word? Tacticia. Tactier. Tac. Hold on. Let's see if I can. Can I get another angle? Preci precision perfected. Uh, rogue tactic. Tactic. Oh, it's probably rogue tactical. I'll bet. I'll bet we just can't see the L from the, from oh, the okay, angle or something like that. Then. I'm gonna go out on a limb and say that that's maybe a, a place where you can find some some weaponry. Uh, remember, a while back they leaked a uh, a gun in there, and I think it was back maybe when they were showing some of the the uh, player versus player stuff. And they they had this super cool gun. I remember uh, it. They, it was part of a leak. They showed us a little piece, and it kind of looked like an eye. And then and then they zoomed out. Oh, the double dragon, right? Yeah, double. Maybe that is it. Yeah, double dragon. That sounds right. Hold on, let me see if I can find it in the announcements. Uh, I know I'm gonna. I think that was it because it's like a callback to that old game that uh, Rob played. Not that Rob's old. I played Double Dragon, I'm over sir. Here I played, everyone. You're I played some people. Double I'm Dragon like people. nobody's business. Uh huh. Uh huh. I could play it on the Switch emulator, but I haven't. <laughs> this guy. This guy. Uh, yeah. No. 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 Absolutely. I. I don't know, but it definitely sounds like some sort of armory to me. To amateur answer your question, Empire. Uh, let's see what else we got in the chat. White, black, and blue cornucopia sign with the circles to the left of the hotel building looks new as well. Okay. Uh, is it on the oh, screen wait. or what? Uh, before we go too far, I just noticed uh, down in the bottom right next to that born, born to perform sign. Is that just jet below enjoy your stay? Kind of uh, to go back to earlier's discussion of is yeah. it jet or bubble jet? That yeah. might support your theory. It does look like it's just Jet, but again, I don't know if they are uh, in any kind of collaboration or if they're a s completely separate company. 
Jet Hotels. Oh, and then we see here, uh, let's see, what is this? X Valley, uh, it says no. That's like the T1, right? It says no cheat code needed. Yeah, th I believe that is, no, no, no. Uh, I think that's the T3 maybe. Is it? Is the T1 the free one? I get him confused, the yes. name. Yes, the T1 is the free one. And okay. the T3, if memory serves, is the other one that has been shown. We uh, That's the one we got to play at um, uh, CNFTCon last year. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, so somebody was talking about a blue sign next to the hotel. I'm guessing it's that one. I think that's for the crisps. I think that's for the cloud crisps, if this is the one you're referring to. Who said that? Hold on. Uh, black and white and blue with circles to the left of the hotel building. Uh, black and white and blue. Is, is this the one you're talking about? Uh, Raven? Right here? If so, I believe that's the uh, Cloud Crisps. Kef's having a blast. He's watching us, trying to make sense of all this. I'm sure everybody's laughing. Well, I know who's really laughing. Is is It's definitely Rob. And then if Josh goes back and watches this later, I'm sure he's laughing as well. Further up from the Chris. Okay, further up. Uh, to the left? This is to the left of the hotel. And that's as far up as it'll go. Hold on, let's 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 see if there's anything else in either future or previous frames. Mm. Hold on, let me turn off the zoom first. Let's see if we see anything. Uh, there's the Cornucopia's lab sign. I assume they're not talking about that because we did see that in the. But a great great shot right here of kind of letting you know where you're at and perspective of how everything's laid out because in the other one you know it was real short and we we only got certain angles we can see the hotel over here to the right uh we can see the cornucopia's labs up here we know we're in the convention area is that right i mean we know we're on the convention level that's where we got off on the train uh i believe we're still there Correct me if I'm wrong, chat. But uh, let me go back. Let me let me let me go back to. I want to find this sign they were talking about, saying they thought it was new. Oh, lab sign. He's saying. Uh, okay. I think it was Cornucopius Lab sign right there. Uh, okay. Okay. Yep. Cornucopius Labs, and they did tell us a little bit about that. Again, not a ton. Perhaps maybe in the future we'll see some. Uh, what do we got over here? Yeah, they've got to have a lot more than just light switches going on there, right? Yeah, Cornucopia's Lab. Okay, there's Club. <laughs> it looks like it says Club Rise. R-I-S-E. Over here. Hold on. Let me get the zoom going. Yeah, Club Rise. That's probably your nightclub, ladies and gentlemen. That's party where, where you're going to party down after a long, hard day of racing. Loving it. So that's uh, in fairly close proximity to the hotel as well. Smart. Very smart. And as we advance, we'll see, is there anything else? Anything else we can garner? No? Uh, I don't know. I think that's about it. Uh, did you guys see anything we missed? Fryler, do you have any, any, any kind of final thoughts or anything else you want to go back and take a look at? No, I think we did a pretty good job going through it with the fine tooth comb. Uh, I mean, there is a lot to see, but uh, yeah, I don't but know. Yeah, I think it is only a an eight minute. Job. It's a nine minute video, so yeah, there's only so much they can put in a nine minute video, and I'm sure they got to, you know, number one rule of show business, right? Always leave the audience wanting more, and boy, did they accomplish that in this one? I'm telling you. Yeah, definitely. Like that's the thing is. Uh, Every time they give us something, all it does is make me want more. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, I guess that's one thing that I want to point out is just uh, I was actually, like, really impressed and happy with, like, the quality of everything. You know, like, the character animations when they're walking, when they're running. 
uh, everything looked really good. Everything seemed to flow well. The design for everything looks incredible, all the branding. So, I mean, I was just really impressed with the whole space. And then again, how, how much larger it was than I expected it to be. Uh, and we only saw a glimpse, so. I love how Raven's like, go back in the video. Right there, right there. Uh, there's yeah, a little yeah. bit of a delay between like when I'm seeing and playing the video and when you guys see it. I, I want to say there's about a seven to 10 second delay. Uh, is there anything else that you can point out that is also in the picture? I don't know what spot. I'm trying. I'm trying. Uh, anything, any, any kind of point of reference, Raven, that you can, uh, did he add oh, something okay. new or are you still looking no, for no, the no. lab? Okay. Ravens. Yep. Yep. Okay. I got it. Labs. Okay. Uh, okay. Sorry. Maybe I'm behind on their chat, but yeah, a absolutely. Everything looked great. Um, you know, super cool to see everything. Of course, my video stops. That's on my side, guys. We got Cornucopius Games listening in. Hold on here. Sweet. Cornucopia's game with the with the little eyeballs. Uh, let's see. Oh, Kef is Kef is wanting to hop in and play devil's advocate. By all means, Mr. Kef, sir. Let's see here. Um, oh boy. Oh boy. All right. Well, hey, look. You guys got to remember here that th this is all a work in progress. This is like the f most games don't show you anything until it's already baked in the oven, all ready to go. You know, these guys have been nice enough to kind of show you us the process as we go. So, you know, people, I, I, I've heard some some criticisms here and there going, it could be better. Look, they're going to polish it up. They're going to get it, you know, a, a little slicker and, 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 and things like that. This is not a finished product. Don't by any means think that this is a finished product. This is a demo. And I got to tell you, I've seen a lot of demos before. And this is one of the better ones that I have seen. Uh, let's see. Can we can we can we make it go again? Because it's not wanting to play. Let's do that. There we go. Um, oh, yeah. So yeah, anyway. and you don't have to feel bad disagreeing with me. Uh, yeah. <laughs> not at all. All right. So Rob is informing us that there are no QR codes in any of these titles, which is unfortunate because I had my phone ready and I was all ready to to snap some sort of snapshot that was going to give me, you know, I don't know, some free bonus something. Uh, but I, I think we did a pretty good job of, of breaking down. Now, guess what, kids? Only six more days until the next Kopi Cafe episode, hopefully. And maybe we'll get some more nuggets. Who knows? Maybe, maybe, maybe it'll be another week or two. But, you know, again, either way, let's all be patient. Let's be happy. I, I think the game looks fantastic. Uh, super excited about all that they're offering. Uh, like Freiler mentioned, you know, all those brands, Hyperware Apparel Company, right there, baby. Mm. Yeah, I saw Jet again as you came in. That must have been where you saw it originally. Probably it was right so. above your head on that train right when you came in. Yes, yes. I also want to thank uh, Freiler. I want to thank everybody who came out and hung out with us, gave us some great ideas. Uh, kind of got us in the right direction. Uh, by the way, if you guys are watching this on the replay days later or hours later, whatever, feel free to comment down below. Also, if you found anything in this video interesting or informative or, I don't know, you just want to stick it to the man, go ahead, give us a thumbs up. And uh, if you want to know when I come out with new streams or produced videos, click on notifications and that way you will get, well, notified. <laughs> Again, big shout out, big thanks to Freiler. Appreciate you joining along. This has been too long coming. We'll have to do more of these, sir. Yeah, definitely. We'll have to plan the next one a little better and uh, get everything dialed in a little more. But this was a fun little improv to, uh, improv, impromptu. Hmm. And, 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 and improv to? Is that is Improv to. That's, that's definitely the word I was going for. Even a thing. Uh, it's not English. It's it's French. Uh, yeah, in I, any case. I think the word you were looking for was show. Um, <laughs> a little bit. Yeah, no, but it no. was fun. It was good. We, we had fun again. It, we, we were just too excited after we saw this and we didn't have a whole lot of time to throw it together next time. Uh, yeah, we'll do better. We'll do better next time, but thanks everybody for stopping by. Had an absolute blast. We will catch you on the next one.